Oh, this is Bob Jackson. I'm the K-12 Educational Liaison with the PRISM Project here at Rose Hellman Institute of Technology. I've been making a series of uh, informational videos on Moodle applications this fall, hopefully to try to help teachers with uh, some things that they can do with their uh, courses. And now, uh, besides me making videos, I'd like to have some teachers submit some videos uh, for me rather than just all coming from us to teachers out there. Uh, if you are doing some things on Moodle that you think are particularly good and, and you're using them to truly engage students or like some mastery learning type exercises or the types of um, assessments and things like that, you're making up um, two different activities that you could be doing on your courses. I would love for you to uh, make your own video, upload it to YouTube and then give me the URL and uh, link and I, I would be glad to add it to our home page to where we see what some of you folks are doing um, okay so today's video that I'm going to do is going to be on a quiz question type okay I have shown several other quiz question types already in other videos if you haven't seen any of the videos then let me show you where you can get to these videos on your own and uh, see some others besides just this one. Okay, so if you go to the PRISM main page, you don't even have to sign in. You're gonna go over on the right hand side, go to help and extras. Okay, the block over here, click on videos and tutorials, and you will see the uh, Moodle videos that I've done right up here. Okay, they range from very general, like introduction and course organization, video just kind of talking about how you can go about setting up your first middle course to uh, some course authoring stuff and mastery learning and then some activities like the lesson activity uh, and then how to create your own quizzes and the quiz activity and then I go into each of the different types of questions okay which that's one I'm working on today and I even have uh, talk on some of the games that you can integrate into your courses that are available in Moodle Okay, so please watch them. Please give me feedback. Uh, let me know whether they're helpful. Uh, let me know also how perhaps could improve any of them. Okay, let's go back and let's do what we really come on here to do. Okay, I'm going to show you a um, drag and drop to text question that you could add to a, a quiz or whatever level of assessment you'd want to be making. Okay, so I'm going to go to my chemistry course, first year chemistry. I'm going to add it to a quiz activity that I've already made, okay, uh, in which you just click on it, and then if it's a very first, if you've just made quiz activity and you click on it, you'll, you'll have an add questions button here, but if you've already been working with it, then you're going to have to go over here to the edit icon, and then go down to edit quiz, okay and that'll get you into the question bank okay where you can start adding some more questions okay now then if you want to go right to a question bank on your course and create these questions then if you have the boost theme like I have where your menus look like this on your course you go over here to the edit icon click on it go down to more and then click, click on questions and it's going to take you back in the same place we just was okay if you don't have the boost theme then your course menu is going to look more like this over here and you'll find your question bank down here on the left okay that you can go into it. okay so I just want to make sure I show everyone how you can get navigated around okay I'm going to go back to my quiz activity okay my quiz activity, I'm going to add a question, so I'm going to go to edit quiz, not edit settings, but edit quiz. Then I see that I can add questions here. Okay, now I can click on either one of these to add a question, it's just that the question be inserted in between these others that are already here. I'm going to go down here to the last one, I'm going to go add a new question. I said I want to do drag and drop to text. Okay, there's a lot of uh, different types of assessments you could use this in. I'm a chemistry teacher and I like it for balancing equations and that's what I'm going to show you is how you can use it for 
a balancing equation question because uh, some of those can be pretty monotonous uh, and uh, drawn out in the way you would make them up in a multiple choice type test or something like that. Drag and drop might be another uh, option for you to be able to make up balancing equations test or questions and end test. Okay, so now then. When when I'm in here, this is my editing menu for making the question. Make sure that you select a category for your question to go into at the top. Okay, if this is the only course you've got and the only one you're working with, then you're going to have a default one here for this course. But if you've got several questions in your question bank, you know, make sure and keep them organized and make sure you're adding it to the correct category. Okay, I'm putting it in general chemistry. Okay, now then, the question name, you can make it what you want. Like I can make this as uh, balancing equations question one. Okay, now then, this question name does not appear to students. It's just a way that you can keep your questions organized in your categories with similar names and numbers. Okay, your question text is going to go here. Okay, now remember on this, you do have a full uh, editing menu up here that you can you can put in characters, you can put in superscripts, subscripts, and and all the needed things that you need to make your questions look nice and professional. Okay, I'm going to cheat by copying and pasting my question in so it don't take so long to do. Okay, um, now on this and I say balance the following equation okay where I have aluminum chloride ALCl3 and water to produce aluminum hydroxide and hydrochloric acid and you see I have these all typed in okay realize that I use this subscript key to put these in okay that 3 and that little s for solid okay and then this 2 and this L I use the subscript Okay, there'll be time doing math problems, stuff like that. You may use superscript. Realize you've got a full editing menu up there that you can type everything in and make it look nice and professional. Okay, now then, what you do on the drag and drop questions. You're putting your question in, and then where you want to drag answers to, put answers in, like this is a balancing equation, so they're going to put numbers in here to balance this equation. And that's what these, this is what I have right here okay I've gone I, I've put a left-handed bracket left-handed bracket from a keyboard and then a number right-handed bracket right-handed bracket or double bracket however you want to say it double double left my number double right okay these numbers are your answer numbers that are down here okay answer choice you, you'll have your answer choices Okay, that you will put down here. Okay, now then, you're going to put the numbers in, okay, down here for what you're going to, are, are your answers, not your numbers. Okay, they are numbers in the case of balancing equations. Okay, so down here, I am going to put answers, okay, one, three, Two, four, and six. These are possible answers. Okay, now then. These, okay, these are the answers that can be dragged and dropped onto these. Okay, now then. The number in here is the correct answer. Okay, so in front of ALCL3 I have one so this and down here on choice one that's the correct answer okay choice two is this one that three okay and it looks like on this and my choice one because you can, you can use some unlimited okay this is one and this is a two okay so these both these answers can drag to them. I'm just giving more answers down here, more numbers for wrong answers, just like on a multiple choice question, only it's drag and drop. Okay, now then, 
you can if you have a bunch of bunch of questions on your test and you want to group the answers you can do that okay that's not real appropriate for the one I'm doing here now I do since I have this answer number one more than once okay I have answer number one answer number one I need to click unlimited here because I'm using that answer more than once okay answer number two I'm using more than once okay now then if your answers weren't unlimited and you only had them using each one once which a lot of your drag and drop could very well be then you wouldn't click unlimited okay so then that's it okay so you're typing your you're typing your question and then in the double brackets double left double right and put your number in the number choice is the answer choice one two three four five then you put your answers in here they could be regular text they could be words okay uh, what are, what are be appropriate for the question is answer okay and that's the main setup of these questions right there you can set your default points here if you only want this question worth one point then you can make it or you can make it worth like two points or three points or five points or whatever okay you can give feedback here for when the student is done and what you can give them the right answer and and or whatever feedback you want okay uh, on this and and it, the setting for the feedback will be on your quiz activity whether it's deferred or whether it's immediate and so forth okay you probably want to shuffle the questions okay click on shuffle that will each time a student takes this each time there's a new attempt or students sitting next to each other or whatever in class their answers are shuffled around and look different on the screen okay combined feedback okay this is just where you can put in for a correct response you can put what you want you can put some emojis smiley faces or what have you in there okay and type whatever you want same thing for incorrect responses and then if you decide you're doing one with they get, have partially correct response you can put something in there okay if they're getting partial credit on them multiple tries remember this is the one where you can set if you're given multiple attempts on the test so like they took it the first time they're losing 33 and a third percent with each attempt okay after three attempts they're pretty well done okay you can change this to what you want okay and then that's it you go save changes and you have your question then you can preview it here where you click on it open it up and here's my question just the way a student would see it you will drag the answers into the boxes like that okay and that's it that's a drag and drop question drag and drop into text question okay let me have feedback on these uh, let me know if you need more help if you get to working on some of these and and uh, it's not working right for you let me know and I'll try to help you out uh, please I would like to see some videos from uh, you teachers out there um, just uh, make your videos you can send me the URLs so I definitely put them onto our website okay have a good week at school and uh, I'll be at you later